What did you get, David? So like before, because this is an or, as soon as we see that A is true, we can go ahead and write down true for all of these. When A is false, we just need to evaluate B or C. When B is true, we know it's already true. And then if B is false, we need to look at C. If C is true, then it's still true. And if C is false, then all three are false, and that's the only time it's false. Over here, we've moved the parentheses, but really we're not changing what we do. We can think of it as starting at the bottom with C being true. Anytime C is true, the entire thing is true. So C is true here, 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 and here. If that evaluates the faults, we need to look at A or B, and so on. So we end up doing the exact same process. That's good, David. And this property is called the associated property. The associated property simply says that we can change the location of the parentheses here, A or parentheses B or C, parentheses close, it has the same value as A or B, parentheses close, or C. So that we can change the location of the parentheses. The same would have been true if these were both conjunctions. If it was A conjunction parentheses B conjunction C or A conjunction B conjunction C, it would have had the same values. The difference between these formulas and the ones we were doing before are the values of these operators. Associative property works when it's both ors or both ands. Distributive property worked when there was a mixture of operators.